How's it going folks and welcome to another After Action Report with Ronin47R. In this video we're looking at the World of Tanks Community Tournament between Clan NFTG versus Clan 47R. And you can see the team roster here and this occurred over on uh, January 23rd, 2016. Sit back and let's yeah, this check is it a good out. Map to do that because uh, the hit point pool. Then there we go. That's, That's three auto loaders with one six on NFTG. That's three auto loaders and one six on forty seven Ronin. We are good to start the first match. All right, let's do this. First match: forty seven R versus NFTG on Insk. As we were as we we're uh, usually starting this, we are back to our usual Group A teams. Last uh, our first match of the day was, I believe, it was Group. Is it Group D or C? Which one did we take over? Uh, group D. We took up Group D for the first match. That was uh, Russ and uh, C R W. Uh, long names, just kind of all the letters just get kind of confusing. Well, I'm 47 hours talking in game chat too. There we go. <laughs> okay. It was like all these phantom voices because game chat just comes through so soft on the thing. So I'm just like, man, where, like, where is that voice coming from? All right. There's someone. There's a person watching this stream right now who watches a bunch of streams, and he's just too chicken to actually talk in the stream. <laughs> the little Captain Alert mode. Yeah, he's ca Captain Alerker apparently. All right, so we're getting the normal, more traditional uh, one-line rush. Yep, except... Looks like the AMX Chaffee for uh, 47 Ronin is going to be pulling a flanking here. Yeah, he's going to do the... F he's going to make sure that they're probably not going to get flanked from that side. But yeah, this is uh, definitely That's... more what we expected from this map. A little bit more of what it's set up. NFTG pushing a little bit farther than I would think, and 47R likewise not pushing it as far as I thought. I thought they'd push to at least this first block, which it looks like NFTG is going to get there and around the, the E-line block, I mean. Oh, something interesting here is uh, 47 Ronin has a stack up of IS-3s and a 110. Oh, I mean, they I got an autoloader. If, uh, if they decide to pull that flank, which is almost a little too late now because of the if my wagons come over to cover or well, kind of watch that side. It's also interesting that they left all of the uh, fences intact and they particularly only broke the fence in that back portion so the fence is actually keeping them from getting spotted even if like except for proxy spots obviously but like let's say this chaff you drove down this line you wouldn't be able to spot them I don't think the fence should keep them hidden until they break it I right, see so like what this what you're getting right here is kind of a turtle and, but it's not a true turtle, because right now, the second someone gets spotted or someone gets caught out of position, I believe you're going to see those 47 Rona guys come erupting off that side, and they're going to go probably berserk mode on whatever comes into the center. Yeah, they're just. And it looks like a uh, Akila the vil villain there, or vanilla, Akila vanilla. Yeah, he's playing. <laughs> like second he gets tongue twister, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah second there. second he gets spotted, here they go. Oh, there they go. Yep, you're there right. There you go. They erupted off the side. That's that's that is not a rookie play right there. Yeah. They're gonna burn down that uh, that burn down that tank. It's gonna finish him off with the without probably catching like. much of anything. There we go. And now gonna... There goes one. Should burn off that other one that's real close sniff. right there. Looks like they're shooting at sniff. They should focus on this IS3 iron here, so that way their team can safely push. Yeah. He's getting flanked from behind by digital, I believe that was. So uh, once I kind of work these guys here, Ozzy's gonna have to go on a reload, and it looks like uh, looks like Ooh. Chaos is on a reload. Ooh, a JP2 coming about being an equalizer. He's pushing up that. Okay, line. what do we got going we got on? Got some cap pressure by the Chaffee, unless he wants to go all the way around. No, he's turning back around. Don't think he wants to uh, give away his position. Yeah, he yet. he did take out that light though, didn't he? Yeah. Looks like he did. Uh, I believe he did. So he might be on a reload now. If, yeah, if he sits in that cap for a little bit, that's gonna have to break up. Because you gotta uh, respect the cap. Because cap can win. Right They're chasing. Ah, uh, see. Chasing. Yeah, that's that's a oof. Big hit by that J Panther. Yeah, look at 47 try. Ronin, man. They're just they're just playing this playing this like uh, old hats. Yeah. 
AMX Chaffee chased him down, it took him out though, and then Step all my wagon is Sniff did take out. clipped out. That'll be the end of him. Two V one here. One full health IS to oof. Thank you very much for seeing on a good chunk of health though, but so is Pontiac and uh Cat over here. Chaos Fat Cat. I think that's how he's pronounced his yeah. name. And probably the best play here would be to just flank him. If they know where exactly where he's at, I would think so, instead of kind of stacking up one on top of each other like this. I, I would probably go with the one on top, because once, once you get engaged, it's a matter of burning down those hit points, and as long as uh, Fat Chaos has his, uh, has his clip loaded up enough, he could clip out what's left of... Uh, That's true. So have to he, tanks uh, health here. I think he fired at least two shots. I believe it only holds four. He hasn't fired yet. And, oh, he's body blocking. Uh, so he's, he's reloading. Yeah, he's body yep. blocking right now. Yes, he is reloading. One ten needs. The distraction's working. He's just... It looks like. Nope. Should be reloading. Just, just not enough hit points there. Pontiac. So there we go. Good takes stuff. The first kill, but that was a good match. It's exactly what I what we expected for this was going to be a good setup. It was pretty close. Good plays by both teams. 47 R had a little bit better strategy worked out for them. Seems like in the end of the day. So first game to 47 R. That was well played there. That was a that was a good strategy. Them stacking up over there on the left side. That was uh that was real powerful when it came around. Yeah, they were uh they and once again that's for sure. Once again, that's one of those things when you uh you just don't see play like that in pub games and it uh, makes that real powerful. Communication. All that all that focus fire here. Yep, there, we there we go. go. So yeah. that's three auto three autos, three autos, one tier six and the rest eight. So we are good to go for a round two. We're good to go. Round two, forty seven R leading NFTG by one point. By one game I should say. We have switch switch spawns, so I believe forty seven R is spawning south this time. Doesn't it, think so. It, yeah, that should be right. They don't have that uh, that wall to dogpile behind this time, so we're going to see how they're going to switch up their gameplay a little bit. As it's just one of those things, man. You see, you see stuff on here, and just don't see that kind of stuff on uh, on normal yeah, matches. Yeah, normal matches, no, no, definitely not. Communication is definitely a uh, a win here. That's for sure. Yep, so I think this is the exact same lines that set up that everyone picked last time. Let's see how we put it to use here. Jay Panther is going to watch this five line. Amex Chaffee is going to roll in, or is he not? Oh, he's going to try side scraping against that. We're going to haul down. Looks like the two. Uh, I believe he is just going to. Kind of, uh, I see where the J Panther's doing. J Panther's waiting to catch someone who comes across the. Uh, oh, I see. The three, four line in between those houses. Th yeah, he's gonna thread, thread someone needle. up when they go through there. That is quite a needle there, though. That must be a relatively difficult shot to make. I don't really think you can even make that. This is gonna be really close. Uh, no, I think he's in a really good position there. You can shoot. Where he's going to shoot is going to be that F3 uh, location if someone jumps out of there. I'm kind of curious. If we pin now, it looks like the Chaffees are having a... Uh, about to have their little... Uh, they just saw each other and they're running away. At the, end, there. at the end of this map, or at the end of this uh, last round, potentially, of this series, I think I'm going to try pinging the map. Because I'm curious if, like, we ping the map as spectators, if it shows up for the players. So that way we can talk and, like, ping the maps and stuff like that. Kind of be like, and it's interesting be that nice they're sitting it... up there. But I don't Oof. want to give it away for anybody, so... you know? Wow, there's a big shot fired by Sweaty Elvis. Oh, really? Caught, uh, Kill of Vanilla. Yeah, caught Kill of Vanilla. Getting across there. That oh, was I a see. thread the needle shot. Oh yeah, I definitely got him. A little, uh, oh, like one sixth of his HP it looks like. I think these two Chaffees see each other. Chaffee oh yeah, they bumped into each other earlier and 
it's a little I'm scared of you, you're scared of me moment. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, being. I don't think they can. Yeah. How many, oh, they here, here we go. Watch the J Panther's going to pop this first tank coming across here. This 110 Pontiac Pat's about to catch a J Panther shell. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. He J Panther, I think. Oh, shot looks like they're going to let him come in. Oh, he did really he? Relocated. Yeah, he. Uh, it's a very. It, oh, 40. Damn, 47 it's... doesn't just go ahead and push in there. This is going to go real south for him because they're going to get popped by these 5100s. Yeah. The J Panther too. There he goes. There goes one Flips of them to one it. guy. That should be his last shot. I don't think he has any more. No, he has one more. Oh, there's two right. more. Yep, two more. He must have got hit. Oof, by the and that big old, big old J Panther comes in there and stomps. That was kind of a misplay there by 47. They really yeah, they... once they saw they had that overmatch on the inside, they should have just gone ahead and tuck in there. Just kind of like I didn't run with the rest sure. of them. Now they're kind of trying. If to my take wagon a, took a lot of damage there, they're trying to hide Whoop. behind their buddy's corpse. There it looks like Chaffee's going to try flanking. Looks like they lost their Chaffee. I wonder when that happened. He must have. Uh, yeah. Peanut power. Those Chaffee wars once, once the once the battle starts, it kind of comes hard for that. I believe we got some 5100s on reload right now. 47 R is definitely in a really bad position right now. Lots of yeah, places that's, uh, to be flanked from. Sweaty Elvis at 1 HE shot, he's dead. There it is. There it he's goes. 3 HP, is 5100 sitting at full HP. There's Pontiac's about to go down. One more shot by that AMX should yep. take him. He's going to get killed by this IS-3 right here. There he goes. He's down. And then it's just this. Yeah, one on six. Yeah, definitely just, uh, they actually fell for basically, like, a modification of their own strat from last time. It's kind of the same play, just, uh, team reverse. Yes, it was. One, but we'll be back. So, uh, that was interesting. interesting. Definitely 1-1 one, one now. Alright, next gonna match is going to be on cliffs. This is going to be a good set. It's changing it up just like. slightly. Alright, so we got one tier six. We got... Our limit of auto loaders is good, so we are good to go for round three, and it All is 1-1. Right. We've got man there real fast, and let's go. 1-1, one, one, round three of 47R versus NFTG. NFTG, of course, won that last match there. So, Been Ian can't count. Winner Thanks, picks. Arrow. What's up, man? It's good to see you again, bro. Welcome back. I think this is they definitely so mostly kind of the same setup with the exception of the T32s. That's kind yeah, of that's the Yeah, that switched uh, out for uh for the IS3s. Out for what? I guess the T32 does give you more armor frontally if you uh can use it right cuz that upper plate's pretty troll at times. Yeah. T32 would be a I, like I said, I think it would be a good tank for this map if teams want to fight around the 5 and 6 line, if they're going to get right up on that hill. But again, that's like a public matchmaking thing. This is not really a competitive kind of play, so I'm not quite sure how they're going to use it in, co in a competitive scene. Yeah, because that's, that's really true. That's one of the things that you see... In a normal public match, why am I not able to pick up this? Uh... Looks like one of NFTG's 5100s and a uh, J Panther's gonna watch choke point. You guys, for those of you that don't know, when I say choke point, I'm referring to the one and two line on this map. This is what I personally call it from back in the beta days when everyone would just tunnel, <laughs> like funnel through there. And yeah. No one ever went. Oh man! To the right of the five line. Low hilarious. low tiers, yeah. That was that was crazy in low tiers when it first started up. Like I remember in 360 beta, that's what everyone did. It was fun, but like <laughs> it's just always hilarious. Now see, that. here's one of the things about playing that uh that little F56 area right there, the F mm -hmm. and E56 spots, yeah. is if you see everyone kind of stacked up here right on the side of it. Second, all those guys get detected, and uh, NFTG picks up on that. They bring that J Panther 2 up that oh, yeah, uh, little push. cutout that used to not be there, and that'll be side shots everywhere. Yep, that's for sure. Get the now here's the, which is what here's doing an right interesting now. thing going on. Look at the uh, guys running around the looping around the back of the warehouse or lighthouse. 
Oh, those light Second, tanks. Second, those yeah, 54 lightweights. Yeah, to their that's going to go right? nasty. So it's going to be a... There we go. Let's gonna... see if they focus that fire. There Which we go. That 32 is going to get burned down. Man, it's just shells going everywhere. We lose our first shell, or our first uh, tank. 47R getting first That'd blood. be the T-32. We do have that guy shooting down from the house up there, which is their AMX Chaffee. Kind of raining down hell at the moment. Even trades all around. F. Two yeah, heavies. TG two unfortunately heavies. got two, two kind of caught out in the open there for a little bit, but those heavies can kind of do some work, and that one knows that J-Panther will knock your teeth in if you let it. NFT, NFTG did take one more tank in that trade, and they still have that AMX that's got Lighthouse, which is going to be a problem for them. They wouldn't be in too much trouble yeah. if it wasn't for that AMX that's sitting up there just slowly chunking down everybody. There's nothing you can really do about it because you can't really pull anyone away. Yeah, the the J Panther right Man. here, I would think, wouldn't be so good because it's a real mounted gun and wouldn't have a lot of depression, especially around uh, yeah. kind of like that hill, unless they allow it to Ooh. push. Ooh, big hit on that lightweight like that. There's that AMX Chaffee getting his uh, getting his just, work in. Still just clipping people. Yeah, he takes out. The yeah, AMX wow, Chaffee. look at that. He's three kills in right now. Oh, right. Can be making it up to the top of that hill on uh, undivided. Ram kill right there Oof. by the J Panther. Big Ram at like one HP. And that uh, should be 454 game lightweight. Flex. Another Ram Dang. kill by ah. the J Panther. <laughs> that was uh, that See, was that impressive. Out. 47 had, 47 had that to start with, but they kind of overcommitted and got themselves too far out into the side. If they would all kept closer to the. Uh, Closer to the lighthouse, I think they would have been able to pull that off a little bit better. Yeah, kind of. Man, that was a really, really cheap. good adjustment by uh, NFTG. Yeah, that AMX Chaffee, they would have been good if it wasn't for that AMX Chaffee, I think. They, uh, but you're right, if they had hugged that that rock wall a little bit more, kind of keep those shots raining down from it, like keep them from uh, just raining down shells onto them, probably would have turned out a little We're bit better. We're good to go. We're good to go. Uh, match four. Match number four, NFTG leading 47R2-1. We are playing 2-4 still. So, even if both these matches go in NFTG's favor, we still have to play two more rounds, including this one. Yep. And the next one after this one, next map after this one's going to be Imseldorf. Ooh. Yeah, that him, will be fun. Himmel's gonna be hilarious. I'm kind of excited for that because <laughs> Himmel's has like just the uh, ever since the beginning, even beta, the meta for that has like always relatively been like the same. Like everyone just loves going hill on that map, so it's kind of interesting how I've been really excited to see how that map's gonna play in competitive to see if everyone does what they still do in like public matchmaking. Or if they're actually going to change it up for competitive purposes. If you, uh, anyone who's watching this who's kind of wondering about that, as well as you, uh, you can go to BR's stream. Uh, Russ played that against, I believe it was uh, TNG. I can't remember for certain. Oh, now here's an oh, interesting thing. Big play. That JP2 is, uh, yeah. Oh, he's going to If they realize that that fire. JP2 is, realize that JP2 is out there solo. Yeah, he's actually in trouble here. Whoa. I don't know. He's uh he's hauled down right now. So he's actually in a pretty good spot. He is, but he's still eating Ooh. Oh Got a little got a little ambrocious and they and lost then, that forty seven uh forty seven run and lost that before lightweight. Their lightweight, yeah, which is a big loss right off the bat, losing a tier eight light. They do take out the J Panther. However, whoo. It's a big gun out of the game. Fifty one twenty is over here sitting. How did he hit? Their IS-3 sniped him all the way from hill up there, too, because it was the IS-3 that killed him. So shot him all the way across. Yes, he did. It's good, good shot by him, I must say. Yeah, he he caught that, uh, that lightweight caught that. Oh, if that 50, that there, there 5100, if Chaos pa Fat Cat's not reloaded there, it's going to be uh, real ugly for these light tanks. They that completely fit. forgot about that 5100. Yeah, did they he just come up there and clip out. Yeah, they just, he's uh, looks like feet. looks like they forgot about him. Yeah, there's Chip. He had to have been spotted. There's no way. Yeah, he, he was spotted, spotted by the uh, 54 lightweight, but I don't think they paid enough attention to it. You gotta watch out for this. Oh, here comes that T32. Yeah, this is gonna be in trouble. A little bit of fall damage. 
get the turn though. Going on in the rest of the hill. Now He's here's where the rest of this hill over right here. Now. These three over here on the uh, five six line, and they need to go ahead and get rid of everything up here as quick as possible. Yeah, Those is. uh snip my wagons in a great spot just to rain hell. Oh yeah, you're right, he is back up on that hill. Looks like the lightweight did get away though. And it looks like the 5100 got away. Oof. Sniff should now be they... reloading right now? Jesus. He has yeah. to be reloading Good. now. I saw him at least fire three rounds. And it looks like uh, right. 47R's cat is going to be, since he probably has a little clip right now, misses his first shot, takes one in the bum. He has two more rounds. Misses one. Yeah, Depression's OP. I haven't been following that. There we go. Now he needs Ooh, to get an undercover. Ouch. Tapped. Got a little bit of tunnel vision. He should have backed There's off and joined his sniff. team there. It looks like Sniff's going to probably fall here in a second. There he goes. That third 47 Ronin's uh, T37 is getting ate up. Looks like uh, Pontiac. I believe that 5100 should be. Uh, digital gunfire is going to be on reload now, so they need to just go ahead and burn up this 32. They just need to rush him. This is where the T-32's trollness is kind of taking play here, how it's like slightly angled. You have to hit it in that lower, you're not going to pin it in the <laughs> through that gun mantle. And, and they're not, they're not really hit its hatch either. One more shot okay, should the... do it. No. Oh, the low oh. roll. And he picks up a tank for it. Does. And gets a bounce out of it. I see what's scary about this is that uh, 5100 that they've let go. Man, these have been good games. He should now be reloaded. The 100s. He can yeah, win this. He should this. be just about reloaded. If he lands he all can. four of his shots, he can win this game. Nope. Bounces. Oh, that's a uh, that's a six shot, isn't it? I thought it was a four I'm shot. I'm gonna stream once. I'm not I sure. I believe that's a six shot auto loader. Maybe, I know the tier tens four shots. So maybe it is six shot. It's been a long time since I played that thing, but I know the tier tens four. Yeah, the uh, the I'm pretty sure the 5100s a uh, it's the same gun out of the. Uh, Donk as he donks one into the ground. Well, we'll find out. You're right, it is, because that would be shot number five. So he's sitting on one round right now, which is all he needs to kill he's... that T32. He's probably... But if that T32 catches a hold of him, that's a... Uh... T32 needs to shoot him twice as well, I believe. He has enough HP. Yeah. He's going to try running away and reloading. I think he's not going to gamble with just one shell. So he's going to run back. Maybe he's going to go put on cap pressure. Uh, he could, but that would that would kind of be a silly play, I'd think. I would I believe he's just going to try to find himself a rock where he can keep some distance between them so he can use his majority of rounds to kind of win this out. But man, wow, these have just been really good games here. I don't know if I agree with the uh, with Solus going oh. down into like choke point there. He should have stayed up top, used the hill to his advantage to protect his lower, and just kind of look down and use the pressure. And if he... Uh, if this 5100 decided to hug the cliff wall, then he could just re, like, you know, plan from there. But now he's sitting down here. He's going to sit behind this rock. He will have, like, lower protection. Oh, he broke the, he broke his turret. Oh, Broke really? his turret. No way. Oh. Can he make this? The first wow. shot, Mitch. This could actually be game. Oh, this could be turret. epic. He needs to face hug oh, him. Oh, turret's up and running. He needs to face hug him. Oh, oh. man. So close. Wow. He probably had two seconds or so on his reload still. Just need the face hug him to protect that lower. Man, that was so close. The broken turret. <laughs> man, yeah, I saw that first shot went right into the turret when they met up and broke his turret. Oh, man, it was a good game. I wonder if he could have gotten away with a ram kill on mm. that. We are good to go man. for... Round five. Five, yep. Possibly game point for NFTG. We'll see how 47R does in this scenario. This is also, if I got to point out, quite different. Um, I think NFTG has had more experience. Actually, no, I could be wrong on that. For, uh, because our groups weren't were kind of lined up. I was thinking that possibly 47R had more experience with open maps and NFTG had more experience with um, city maps in terms of what games they have done thus far in, 
in the tournament between this weekend and last weekend, but I think I'm wrong because our groups were lined up in order, and all the other groups were kind of going all over the place, which is why we kind of had like uh, weird matches or like weird uh, map selections. Alright. Yeah, it was, last week was kind of weird. It was, it was the first one for a lot of them. First time I'd ever moderated or done anything like this. And here we go. Look at this. The uh, one side rushes one way, one side rushes the other. I'm really surprised the C-47R going to the 1-2 line. Like, they're all there. Every single one of them. Except for the... Well, that's, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. it, that's why I was really Let's excited see to see this because I was just was really excited to see how uh, this map would be playing competitive versus like the meta that you normally see on this map. I see that AMX Chaffee. He just picked up three tanks. So those guys in 47R going down that far side, they now know they got an overmatch against anything they see. Now, of course, What's NFTG it? actually kind of having some knowledge about how to play. They got. They realized that and they picked up on him being alone. So they're going to go ahead and push forward, or they're going to have to fall fast, back though. and turtle it out. Yeah, the 5100s quickly ran down there. I thought that was an interesting play. You see the NFTG's 5100s went all the way up to Castle, and they're going to try shooting down, I imagine, from uh, those two spots you can see do on the line. But once they saw that all the heavies were on 47R were back on the two line, they instantly turned around and just whipped right back down. So here we go. Here's where it's going to get interesting, because this is a spot where... Uh, it was, I can't remember if it was TNG or if it was some Russ or someone got on this map. And man, they, they went down to that little nook down there and it was game on. Focus fire. They're going to get rid of that J Panther first, it looks like. The Shiam sets him on fire. Yeah, automatic maybe. Fire extinguisher. Now, the AMX on 47R's team has completely flanked them. And they totally forgot about him because they're so focused on these heavies that are on the base. So now he's throwing his clip into the IS 3 at the moment. This is one of those ones where the cap pressure really isn't the point on this one. It's going to be more of... Now let's see how uh, NFTG reacts to that Chaffee floating around behind him. There you go. Pulls He pulls off 15100. He's going to go for the J-Panther. He's going to go. He oh, he got, him, he got him a J-Panther. Now, I would think that they would want to kill these two guys, like Killa and um, Sniff My Wagon, since they're kind of in between. They just lost... One, so they're not so much in yep. between anymore. Oh but. man. No, well, that's. I think they just got a little too aggressive. Yeah. If they had focused oh. on those two heavies that were right on the five line there, they were kind of like poking and shooting them while uh, they were trying to focus that J Panther down. I think they just put a lot of, a lot, a lot of resources into trying to kill that J Panther. Yeah. And the J Panther was pretty holed down in his location there. Mm -hmm. That J Panther has been an interesting choice that's really worked out for NFTG when yeah, you look at I it. I mean, really he's done. Too. He throws out massive damage. He's. To give credit been, to Ghost, It's fast enough really to keep. Well. I believe he's got three marks on that tank, so I guess it kind of makes some sense. You should be able to see it if I uh, get corpse. There goes that Chaffee's tracked and. Yeah. Chaffee on Chaffee Ram damage. NFTG picks up the win. God, I can't count. I think he's, he's got at least two. Freaking German tanks have like every mark is three lines. <laughs> so it's just yeah. like riddled with lines on his tank. Um, but yeah, he's uh, And that would be the end of this one. He's done phenomenal with that thing. But GG to them. NFTG taking that round with, against 47R. The reverse sweep. Pretty much. I believe 47 took the first round of this series. Yeah, but 47 played that really well. They did. It was uh, it was a good battle like we thought it would be. It Jumping onto Discord real quick. And for those of you that don't know, NFTG is now still undefeated. 3-0. Well, and that wraps up that clan tournament. And uh, until the next game... Stay tuned for that, and I can't tell you how proud I am of these guys. They worked really hard at shows, and they really inspire me to actually play even better. So good job, guys. Much appreciated. Keep up the great work. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. 
Okay, girls, tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.